uh, the impact of omnichannel retail with Microsoft Dynamics 365 Commerce. Um, so, start with. So uh, myself, uh, I'm a retail solution specialist, having around 14 years of experience in end-to-end -end implementation, rollouts, and support projects. Uh, basically, more uh, in experience in business process automation and digital transformation. So um, the I have various experience in AX retail management system, retail and commerce. So now uh, the agenda of uh, today's meeting, uh, I'll just show you the evolution of Microsoft Dynamics in retail and then uh, the Microsoft Dynamics 365 commerce overview, then the latest uh, application store commerce app overview, then omnichannel, then commerce analytics, and uh, the next wave plan a little about that. So uh, yeah, so let's get uh, started with the evolution. So Microsoft Dynamics have started with a retail management system. So retail management system have point of sale, store operations manager, and HQ. Uh, usually it's uh, connected to Dynamics uh, great planes and uh, uh, point of sale also we have. After that, AX Retail has been launched with uh, Enterprise Point of Sale, which is connected to uh, AX Retail HQ, and Finance and Operations was done in AX 2012. Then the latest application is Microsoft Dynamics Retail, uh, which is very recently rebranded as Commerce as well. Here it connects to uh, Dynamics 365 uh, Finance and Operations, which have modern point of sale, cloud point of sale, online e-commerce, and the store application as well. So Microsoft Dynamics 365 Commerce uh, Retail delivers a complete integrated end-to-end -end solution that unifies back office, in-store, and online to manage the increasing customer demands and expectation. The core capabilities is engage customer across all the channels. So uh, there are four main key areas, which is uh, to give a unified shopping experience and frictionless engagement across all the channels and the fulfillment part, as well as the promotion in, across all the channels. So uh, let's start with uh, what is commerce. So uh, basically commerce solution having three components, so which is headless commerce engine, so uh, which gives you to interact with ERP data and gives you an ability in the structure that data ends uh, to uh, different retail channels. And here uh, in, in the ERP system, we can use Dynamics 365 or any th th third party ERP. And here uh, we can structure and manage the data within the headquarters. So we can do uh, the um, create catalogs and pushing to the all type of solutions and uh, give the information uh, for the price promotions uh, throughout the channel. And the next part is uh, the headless commerce engine and HQ, uh, which works in condition and gives the ERP solution, which is connected to Dynamics 365 finance operations and supply chain management as well. So these are the core capabilities. So if you can see, it's tightly integrated with all the modules, merchandising, customer loyalty, CRM, order management, and we can use all types of traditional and new, uh, like a brick and mortar, um, mobile commerce, e-commerce, and let's say less well. So uh, basically, uh, it can be flexible uh, with cloud, edge, or hybrid options, and also we can centrally manage and we can get an overview of all the ERP things. Then Microsoft Dynamics Retail has been uh, now known as, uh, Retail is known as Microsoft Dynamics 365 Commerce uh, with all the features of Dynamics 365 Retail and with all the new capabilities. So here, the main criteria is deliver and unify the personalized and seamless shopping experience. So here you can see e-commerce, uh, e Dynamics e-commerce is available and we have a native builder for that. And we have connected stores, fraud protection, intelligent recommendation, and customer insights. So uh, this is one of the latest uh, application which has been recently launched, uh, which is a store commerce application. 
So uh, here, uh, what it's uh, providing is the store commerce application. It's providing a next generation of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Commerce point of sale, uh, which represents uh, both OS experience for the customer as well as it's provide both the options for CPOS and Cloud POS. So I'll go more in detail into this one in coming slides. So uh, the omni-channel offering. So omni-channel offering basically uh, provides all type of stores, catalog, kiosk, web, mobile, social, which directly integrates with uh, retail headquarters. And from the retail headquarters, it's uh, um, flexible with financial management, warehouse management, customer care, marketing, supply chain. So basically it's connects with all the things as an omni-channel and process. The power of the Dynamics uh, uh, Commerce is in cohesion with how channels are brought together and even each and each workspace is intended for different tasks, but d 3 is built around the ground up. The goal is to provide omni-channel uh, offering and uh, Dynamics uh, to provide the end-to-end -end, uh, solution for mid-size as well as the enterprise. So um, here, uh, so what is the step into the future for retail of Dynamics 65? So basically here uh, we have uh, the, all the type of customer experience which will be provided with the traditional method as well as the architecture and with the help of AI and flexible customer care. So this makes shops, uh, shops uh, shopping uh, seamlessly and streamline the commerce operations to support uh, the backend operations and reduce the cost by optimizing the best practices. So um, here, or for when it comes to retail, it starts with assessments. So assessment is um, like a place where uh, we can have a detailed uh, data, audience data, uh, customer data, and we can offer our customers relevant and individual interaction for the moment to give the purchase consideration. So here it makes insights to the predicting the customer intent. It gives all the insights what uh, we have, the information of the customer, which what what they like, and this is uh, uh, providing an um, intelligent search investigation. Uh, so we can recommend the best product to the customer. The next part is purchase. So when they when it comes to purchase, we are giving uh, an option like a, a um, option and the freedom uh, to shop anytime, anywhere, and the pick, uh, pick or get the items uh, pick up or uh, get delivered from anywhere. So it's an end-to-end -end options. We, we can freely give an omni-channel experience. So this is connected and e-commerce uh, by B2C as well as B2B also, the, we can use it. Um, so here we can see the layout, which can be useful for use by tablet or any type of devices also, we can use it. So after purchase, so after purchase, uh, we can um, we have a 360 degree view for connecting uh, and building a long term customer loyalty with responsible tools to make the expectations with the customer enhancement and uh, customer service. So uh, in a single page, we'll get uh, we'll, our uh, people can get a smart assistant to support and give all the information provided to the team. And we uh, here we have the uh, real-time track order tracking facilities, and uh, also the loyalty programs can also be attached to here. So after purchase, um, mainly the merchandising part. So merchandising part, uh, the Microsoft Dynamics um, supply chain management with the help of uh, headquarters, we can get uh, it's connected real time, and we can see the real time inventory, uh, and we can create a single reliable sources for our business plan to create. Uh, real-time insights and giving and connected infrastructure uh, from all the stores as well as uh, e-commerce and customer care services as well. And when it comes to the retail operations, uh, we can empower the, our employees and eliminate the issues and provide our team to give a uh, real-time insights uh, on how the analytics is happening. And especially uh, the commerce analyst analytics with the power of help of Power BI, we have a commerce analytics solution is there. We can get an uh, out of box uh, uh, platform. Um, so I'll just show you a uh, demo also with that one uh, in coming slides. So now it comes to uh, job handling. 
So here uh, we can give our customers more choices and we can reduce the cost for the fulfillment. So here we will get an overview how it's happening and with the supply chain, we can do uh, contactless shopping, online shopping and uh, in-store pickup, off-store pickup and uh, distributor order management. So now uh, distributor management is uh, converted to intelligent order management with uh, more features and um, like advanced warehouse management as well for the picking options. Yeah, so now um, we will go uh, more into uh, uh, the details of a store application, a store a commerce application, which is uh, recently uh, in, launched and uh, it's going uh, to be a um, game changer in the uh, perspective of uh, retail point of sales. So uh, here uh, we will be seeing the overview and what is the functionality and benefits, then the comparison and uh, uh, how it is done. So basically this new app is uh, added for uh, added for uh, modern point of sale and cloud point of sale. So basically there's a hybrid app uh, which can give the functionality of both modern point of sale and cloud point of sale with all the uh, functionalities and scenario. And look and feel also it will be same and it will be same UI. But when it comes to the frame parts, we have some changes and benefits. So here you can see uh, it will be, uh, it's like an application. So mainly it will be in the deployment side, it will be very beneficial and uh, we can get better performance uh, with the point of sale, cash management, uh, assisted selling, uh, staff management, integration with the teams for uh, um, managing the task and providing the task, uh, order management, invent and reporting. So here you can see the overview of uh, store commerce. So basically, uh, modern commerce, um, um, modern commerce app uh, is an simplified A which have an ALM, and it's a shell which renders the zippos. And uh, modern point of sale, uh, it will is using uh, U UWP framework. So here, uh, when we use this uh, application, we have a better performance, uh, page navigation, and load time. So um, here, um, these are the technical sites, uh, which uh, type of uh, is, in, uh, is using for uh, for this commerce app. So now we can see um, store commerce application has the next generation offering for physical stores. Why um, it's, it's, it unifies the MPOs and CPOs into a single solution and which also provides uh, retailers to choice uh, the options with the hybrid option as well and uh, they can use uh, AL, uh, they can improve the life ALM and uh, also all the functionalities, uh, including the uh, extendability. When it comes to the benefits of store commerce, uh, ALM is simplified, performance is better, and we have a dedicated hardware is supported. So before in cloud point of sale, uh, we, uh, the hard, dedicated hardware was not our option. So um, now uh, it can be connected to uh, dedicated hardware as a support option, as well as the deployment is also very uh, much easy. When it comes to the store topology, uh, online is directly connecting to cloud scale unit and offline will be connected to the CRT uh, when the, uh, there's no uh, connectivity to the uh, IQ. And uh, with, uh, with related to the updates uh, to the store solution, here uh, we can um, have the um, everyday uh, performance uh, in the in-store solution as well as the technology. And here in the store commerce with the window application, it gives more deployment choices and easier updates uh, for the long-term uh, framework support. So this is a, a comparison between store commerce, the retail modern point of sale and cloud. So uh, here we can see um, like, um, ALM, which is more easy here uh, to do the applications. And when it comes to the hardware side, uh, it can support cloud is uh, supporting only the shared hardware session, but here it will support both. Um, yeah. And uh, here, um, this is an uh, option for chatting, uh, chatting the commerce with the power, uh, power, BI, power virtual agents and the omni-channel uh, options with the customer service. So here we can set up how uh, how to initiate a return, how to order, or how to check the tracking of the status. So uh, this can be used with the power of uh, with the useful of uh, power boards or uh, power boards and virtual agents. So uh, here uh, in the back office inside, we can see uh, all the options. We can directly see uh, what is happening with the 
order status, payment status, and will be more. Uh, we can provide a best customer experience even in uh, chat as well. Yeah. Uh, now uh, I'm moving to uh, the Dynamics 365 commerce uh, channels and uh, channel order types uh, with omnichannel flows. So uh, mainly we have uh, three types of uh, commerce channels are there, uh, which is a physical store, which is a, a regular uh, offline physical stores, and online store, which is an e-commerce, and we have a customer center. So all the places we can uh, um, uh, we can create custom order, but uh, only in physical store, it's cash and carry option is available. So in cash and carry is uh, we have a, a limited life cycle. So basically, customer will come and uh, do the purchase and pay and they will go. So the, the life cycle is limited. When it comes to the customer order, uh, it can be, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's the main uh, options for the omni-channel. So a customer order uh, here, uh, we can use, uh, can be taken from all the options like a physical, online, uh, from call, call center or hybrid options to buy and purchase. Um, and maybe for editing it or canceling it or returning it as well. So uh, here is a, a channel that flow. So how it works is uh, the user experience. We can see here uh, we have three options, e-commerce, point of sale, and uh, call center. So the information uh, from the call center is directly uh, connected to the back office, which is uh, D365 financial operations. Uh, but all the options, uh, all the orders, or any any flow which is coming, which will be from the point of sale or e-commerce, it will be connected to headless commerce engine, which is connected to commerce scale unit. From there, uh, it connects to uh, and synchronized with uh, back office, uh, which is D365 uh, FNO. So here we can use uh, real time service and uh, e-sync service uh, for the batch of synchronization. Uh, now I'm on to retail concepts. So uh, retail uh, concepts basically in interfaces which have point of sale, uh, a point of sale have cloud point of sale, a modern point of sale store application, and e-commerce. Um, and having the backend, we have the rich client as well as the workspace we can utilize. Uh, now in omnichannel, uh, we can hear about uh, cross-channel orders. Uh, Basically, cross-channel orders is uh, how um, an order can be placed, uh, and uh, if uh, some requirement is there to edit and uh, return and cancel it. So uh, there are several scenarios are there. So we can buy online and pick from one store or multiple store. So that option we can do it from the pick and motor, and buy online and we can ship to home and uh, we can buy from call center and pick from on stars and buy in um, buy in center and ship to home. But in buy in uh, store, we have several options, uh, same store, another store, or uh, ship to another store, or get it from another store, or uh, if an option to get it from a uh, warehouse or uh, some common locations, uh, we can take that as well. Um, so here uh, we have a range of retail channels, uh, which are in store, um, uh, applications uh, which we uh, can use all the platforms uh, like uh, mpos cloud pos or uh, store applications and here with the help of a uh, modern point of sale uh, uh, tab with the customers can use uh, tablets as well and uh, it's um, they can help the customer by seeing all the options and uh, give the right uh, suggestions for the purchases and in customer care, uh, customer can uh, call to the percentages and do the changes in the order. And in digital commerce, uh, we can use a web, a mobile, or uh, applications, and also the third-party applications uh, like um, Amazon, Google, Market for eBay. That also we can integrate, um, and also we can integrate to social media platforms, and uh, can also do conversational method uh, like our virtual customer agents, uh, AI-driven chatbots or uh, like a support uh, also we can do it from there. So uh, here uh, Dynamics 365, uh, um, we have three channels and across it supports both traditional and all the emerging channels. Uh, when it comes to the customer and business facing as well, 
is tightly uh, um, useful and improve the experience uh, not only with the customer side, it will also be uh, from the employee side or, or like also so from the store clerk, they can do the management uh, or like uh, they can prepare the items, they can uh, schedule the task and for the shopper also they can use uh, web or mobile applications to make a wish list and um, the AI will provide the uh, recommendations uh, based on their search and their pattern. Uh, customer service also you can manage uh, with one single uh, platform to all the applications. Uh, yeah, now uh, combining uh, the both the options, uh, the traditional and merging uh, channels, as well as the customer and business facing, it gives uh, uh, delivering a unified commerce experience and commerce solution as well. So here, uh, it's um, Digitify Commerce is providing a complete retail solution to uh, which delivers the unified commerce across all channels, which includes sales, mobility, intelligence, uh, productivity, and this, um, especially uh, in this um, in this uh, stage um, when uh, the pandemic hit, uh, the digital transformation for uh, is happening of our like a which has to happen in last 10 years is happening in two years. Uh, so all the uh, technology is also improving. Um, so basically this shift uh, unified commerce uh, is providing a fundamental shift in which how uh, the technology supports the retail business and also with an unified commerce, which merging front end and back end systems into a single platform. And here the technology uh, is no longer uh, set uh, standalone. Uh, separate business, it, uh, it unifies everything and uh, the technology gives uh, retailers uh, and business a foundation uh, to create an agile system uh, for delivering uh, insightful and uh, efficient service for touching uh, for at each and every uh, touch points. And uh, we also having a very rich omnichannel solution uh, that gives the ability uh, to operate and across uh, all the range of uh, channels, uh, different channels and different individuals, and uh, we can customers can uh, interact easily with uh, all the channels. So now uh, we are. I'm going to explain about the core components and the key channels. Uh, so first of all, uh, D365 uh, Commerce need an ERP uh, to handle or, or and manage uh, the orders and inventory. Um, so here uh, uh, we have an native uh, FNO options. Also, uh, we can connect this to uh, other uh, ERP systems as well. So in Dynamics Digital Commerce, it's uh, connecting and uh, the, all the orders and inventory is managed in Dynamics Digital Finance and Operations and Supply Chain Management. Uh, when it comes to the Dynamics Commerce, uh, it have uh, two uh, major uh, applications, which is uh, Commerce HQ, and we have an application uh, interface uh, integration. And as I said, uh, three, these are the three channels, online, point of sale, and customers. Uh, so uh, here are the key channels, uh, the um, head, um, headless commerce engine. Uh, it's a nucleus of commerce, and this API integration layer that is connecting the backend to the frontend system. Yeah, so this is a headless commerce engine. Um, so here it uh, from the back uh, front end, it can be an e-commerce uh, or any like point of sale uh, which connects uh, to the back end. And this is the help of uh, API connections. Um, and here the channels and the head commerce, how uh, it's uh, connecting. So basically uh, all the channels, the retail channels are uh, from connecting to headless commerce engine and it's synchronized to the commerce HQ as well as the uh, ERP with the cloud uh, scale unit. And this also connecting uh, to the uh, marketplace and social and ports as well, and also Dynamics Certify CRM also it can be connected. Uh, so um, customer insights. So based on the, all the transactions, history, point of sale data, behavioral data, customer preferences, and all type of data, uh, we can have a service that pulls together all the uh, customer information uh, from all the sources and build an uh, 360 degree profile uh, of our customers and the that uh, the sales uh, which can uh, provide a more personalized experience to the customer as well and give uh, personalized recommendations and which can which can we can generate uh, through the machine learning process and uh, through the customer insights 
So uh, this is uh, like a, from the commerce engine, the products pricing and inventory is coming from HQ, uh, from the uh, financial operation, it's connecting with the, uh, to the HQ. And this uh, we can uh, with uh, we can use it as a content management system to save all the documents uh, which can be used not only in e-commerce it can be used to the uh, in store also um, we can um, we can search all type of the information of the products and sizes and the images and how it can be used all the information this is this will enhance uh, our uh, staff to provide a good experience uh, in in store as well so uh, yeah so now this is the architecture, architecture of uh, D365 uh, commerce. So it having, um, you see, uh, it starts with um, uh, back office. So here in back office, it's uh, commerce HQ is available, supply chain management is available, finance is available, HR is available. Uh, from here, uh, the, this is connected to back office. Uh, from the front side, we can see the point of sale and uh, in-store employee uh, can directly connect uh, this one to commerce scale unit as well as here you can see e-commerce side so e-commerce uh, e-commerce the customer can directly connect to a web front and from web front is directly connected to csv so uh, we have a native application uh, to build other uh, e-commerce site which is uh, site builder in site builder uh, the we can the content author and site manager will connect it and we have the CMS and digital asset management. So all the information will be flowing from uh, information to be available here. So here in commerce scale unit, it's, uh, it can be integrated to the third party service like shipping, payment, uh, payment options, gift card services, uh, fiscalization, and it's also connecting to the ratings and review as well. And this all this information will go to the common data service. From common data service, we can connect to Microsoft Dynamics 365 uh, commerce enhancement, uh, which is the CRM sales, uh, marketing, and uh, customer enhancement, and the boards also can be done. So this is an overview uh, of uh, the architecture, which is uh, natively integrated to the omni-channel experience and uh, all the interconnected business process uh, with the D365 and Microsoft ecosystem. So uh, this is uh, retail uh, and commerce uh, mobility. We can use uh, any device at any time, a multi-platform support, uh, easy to deploy and configure and operate, omni-channel excellence, and it's a secure way and it's cloud engineered. So uh, cloud post, the benefit of cloud post is uh, it's a web-based post client which uh, having zero footprint for the deployment and comes to the modern point, it gives offline um, capabilities and uh, it can be used in uh, PCs and uh, tablets and phones as well. So when it comes to online stores, we can see uh, all the online online stores here, uh, which have an e-commerce having end-to-end -end solution, uh, which have the powerful uh, technology for search options and it's integrated to web store front uh, and all the real-time order management also we can be processed here. So these are the workspaces. Uh, so in workspaces, we can use uh, the D365 workspaces to manage and see the channel deployments and all the options from the D365 to see the registers and device uh, manage options. Uh, when it comes to the analytics part, we can see uh, the commerce engine and how the um, commerce analytics is will be helpful for uh, the team. So the key concepts uh, is uh, making the centralized data and uh, the order management across all the channels um, and getting all the catalogs, products, uh, inventory, fulfillment, and order as well. So cross-channel, having uh, cross-channel devices to manage the visual profiles, uh, cross-channel gift cards, and uh, other options. And uh, symmetrical omni-channel service, uh, retail services to share the business value and give the promotional service as well as uh, pricing into calculation. So now um, the modern commerce uh, analytics. So uh, here uh, we can get all type of uh, analytics. Uh, so here uh, it provides um, and enhance the business uh, decisions with the modern commerce of analytics, a modern commerce analytics. Uh, here we can highlight the capabilities that include uh, the latest updates in uh, DCC5. Uh, this uh, analytics uh, enables the organization to make informed 
and uh, that are driven decisions about uh, business and e-commerce. So uh, before in all the times we used to wait for uh, the reports to be get and the based on, uh, but here we can get a real time uh, um, real time transactional data from behavioral data. Uh, not only from the stores, it's uh, all channels like uh, e-commerce uh, call center as well. So here the unified omnichannel insights will allow uh, an end-to-end -end, uh, business operation and uh, this uh, analytics is um, modern and scalable platform is available. So I'll just um, um, just show you. A, uh, so these are available uh, in uh, product wise. So you can see the summary of uh, how it's available here. And uh, if you go to the uh, customer channel wise, we can see uh, the production of that one as well. So here, if you can see, you can just uh, click here or just uh, drill down the options. You can see where it is getting delivered. Uh, what is the product is has been sold out and uh, which scenario has been done or uh, which uh, fashion is has been taken and uh, we can expand it as well. So when we go to the sales analysis. Here we can get all the KPIs we can design by our own options. We can do it by hour or uh, do it by month. Uh, all the options uh, we can have uh, hit here. So here if we take an example how much um, is sold in this particular area and if we go um, to the delivery location, if we uh, just click there, we can see uh, the map on uh, which uh, the which place it have been delivered most and uh, we can take the decisions uh, basically from here as well. Uh, the other option is you can just right click and uh, drill, uh, drill down and show the data as well. Um, so once you drill down, you can see uh, which, uh, which which channel has been with the top one and uh, which employee has been performing well. And we can select a particular one; it will be changing things as well. So here we'll get more uh, analytics, and when it comes to the web page analysis as well, we have an indicated view where, where we can see all the acquisition, how it happens. If we want to see only for fashion, uh, we can click and we can see the funnel, how uh, the impressions come, how many impressions came, and categorical regression, and the purchase, and all the options here. So if you want to uh, filter by um, like only for one option, also we can get that as well, and um, session wise we can see which session uh, which external referrer so based on this one we can take an uh, digital uh, uh, decisions for marketing and as well as focusing for this one so when it comes to the visitor page we can see uh, which location we are it's more uh, coming and uh, if you want to see like uh, which uh, days from 7 to 30 days uh, where is a major area and we can select particular that one and we can focus more uh, in marketing session, or we can send some personal mails or uh, for the options as well. When it comes to impression, you can see uh, the fashion, uh, like uh, we can drill down uh, to each options, same like uh, like uh, what we have seen before. Um, so these things we can customize and uh, we can see the options for funnel or table options. These are fully customizable and uh, these are the out, box, uh, uh, out of box options. Here we can provide all type of um, insights uh, in very clear. And we are with um, comparison options, customer analysis, uh, payment options also we can go with that one. And uh, especially for the discount analysis, how it done, uh, well, this will be helpful for the preparing uh, for the next promotion patterns, uh, how the return is happening. So this is one of the major topic because when the e-commerce is uh, coming, the return uh, is uh, uh, return is the biggest challenge for a nominee channel experience because sometimes we have more returns and which is uh, which is cutting the core profit and uh, as well as um, it sometimes. Uh, the expenses covered for packing and uh, for the shipping and delivery uh, and uh, office back office work is more uh, more coming here so we can analyze this option and we can uh, reduce uh, our companies can reduce uh, how how to improve and how we can make a proper options as well so this is mainly into the margin analysis and uh, here we can see all type of uh, channels for this one 
And another one of the uh, key uh, thing is Microsoft Clarity, which is uh, just recently launched. And here we can see the heat maps. So based on this one, we can get uh, like a clarity on how uh, how the order is are generated. And based on this one, we can do a pattern analysis and improve the customer experience for the e-commerce as well. And here also we'll get uh, powerful insights and uh, Google and interface as well. So basically instant map, uh, we can integrate it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So now going back to the slides. Uh, So uh, this is a uh, overall uh, of, uh, like a customer journey as well as the back office, how it's uh, gone uh, to the all the modules and options as well. So when it comes to the customer shopping journey, it starts from awareness. So awareness can be uh, advertisement, social media, loyalty problems, campaigns, and other options. Then it uh, for a consumer, they need to evaluation, make an evaluation. So they have to enhance the uh, in-store capabilities um, and provide uh, the real-time uh, up updates. And we can, when the customer comes in, we can, based on the historical data, we can provide in-house uh, experience uh, which uh, product uh, he uh, like it. So based on uh, that one, we can provide it uh, to even for a website also. Uh, A-driven recommendations can be taken and reviews also. Uh, same thing here for the buying options. We have, uh, they can buy it from in-store, pop-up store, kiosk, and call center as well. And post-purchase support, uh, uh, it can be with uh, delivery options and uh, customer service in-store. And all these can be done through the Microsoft Dynamics, uh, all the options of uh, customer um, enhancement and uh, Power BI, uh, e-commerce, uh, and um, supply chain management. So here the background office uh, mainly uh, it's connected with FNO and supply chain. So here we'll get uh, planning for merchandise planning. Uh, we can we can get all the information can be uh, catered demand forecasting as well. And uh, merchandising and distribution uh, can be with the help of uh, cross talking or receiving yeah, intelligent information and uh, replenishment. Uh, making the assortments uh, and uh, this will be very helpful for the merchandising team uh, to make the catalog management as well. Uh, marketing, especially uh, for we can use some uh, diversified CND, uh, CND, which is uh, we can be tightly integrated with all the options. Uh, when it comes to sale operations, we can use uh, the payment processing, uh, workforce management. Uh, we can give the task uh, task management uh, with the uh, integration of Microsoft Teams, and fulfilling and servicing. Also, we can do the um, uh, checkup of uh, field service or uh, any options for uh, invoicing and billing as well and return. Um, and after service. So here, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 65 uh, gives an uh, all the options for commercial and retail uh, business across all the front office and back office. And depending on uh, each business need and requirements, uh, it these uh, functional uh, can be functional requirements can be uh, customized, and uh, we can optimize the sales operations as well as uh, back end operations. So. Uh, uh, this gives an end-to-end -end solution uh, to enable uh, our business to accelerate and uh, maximize the impact of uh, customers, uh, employees, and uh, overall uh, business as well. Now, um, here uh, we have the options uh, for uh, Microsoft Dynamics specific e-commerce, uh, which uh, here is uh, um, explore uh, an option for guided tours available. Uh, so you can just go to the experience and uh, get the experience of B2B and B2C as well. So in B2C, there are a lot of options has been uh, done like a uh, product discovery, cloud uh, curbside pickup, ratings, customer service, uh, customer voice, and a uh, lot of other options. So I'll just uh, shortly uh, go through. So these are available uh, in uh, like uh, this link. So uh, you can just go and uh, just click the link and it will be pop up with options. So uh, here it's tightly integrated and it's native as well. So if you want to add this item, um, you can choose the size and uh, we can choose the color and uh, order number and we can put the cap. We can order only like a, a minimum quantity and we can see, uh, we can find which store which is available and uh, based on uh, the availability, you can see it's whether it's available or limited stock. Uh, we can make a preferred store or we can get take an option for in-store pickup or curbside pickup. And once you click here, it will be added to the 
um, add it to the um, checkout uh, options and other options are like um, if you want to uh, search some uh, uh, you know, options you can directly go here and uh, um, for example if you want to search by this particular image you can just uh, click that option uh, more ways to shop so once you click uh, that uh, select that option it will show uh, based on our uh, selected option and uh, here if you uh, we have another option so uh, if you want to uh, um, sh shop or something same based on their description uh, we can do that also yeah, like uh, so it will show all the pop-ups here when we order the item we can um, go for an uh, order option and uh, can see the size and uh, here also uh, you can see all the description so when it comes to the rating after the purchase we can do the uh, rating also we can see the reviews and this is uh, tightly integrated to the uh, crm uh, c uh, customer enhancement so based on this also we can uh, give a proper customer experience so when we go to the checkout options uh, you can see uh, the shopping bag and here we can do uh, some options uh, to if you want to change or uh, uh, change the store or uh, we can select another store uh, and we can use instead of uh, curbside pickup options also we can do it and based on this one all the options will be created so yeah now uh, instead of uh, like after uh, the implementation uh, like after the purchase uh, like if you would like to instead of going uh, for this one we can go for a picking option also so that also will be uh, tightly the information will be passed throughout the channel. Uh, so uh, there are several uh, um, new features are there. Uh, Internet documentations, uh, like uh, um, ratings, um, quick start and customer review and customer voice, which is the latest one. So when it comes to the uh, uh, e-commerce, uh, it's uh, supporting uh, B2C as well. So which uh, which which we can do all type of um, contract uh, which is uh, tightly uh, integrated and the pricing also will be as per uh, the um, contract uh, as well. Yeah. So yeah. Now I'm just going back to my slides. Huh? Yeah. Um, so here uh, we have some uh, uh, the new uh, options uh, for d uh, 5 which is uh, for the wave plan one is uh, announced uh, something with out of box um, integrations uh, new commerce app and uh, customer service agents also it's provided um, another important uh, one is release is coming now is a health check option so here uh, each uh, point of sale uh, can do the health check option and we can do it from the hq as well Basically, uh, here uh, we can do the health check options and uh, get uh, reliable like where it is uh, issues are there. We can test it uh, easily. So when we do the testing, whether the test printers are connected, line displays, cash, um, cash orders and payment methods, all these options. So this option is already available uh, in the back office. So when uh, in the point of sale, so when we go to the health check option, uh, we can just uh, select and uh, click the test here. It will show which one is uh, fail and which one is passed. So we can give a uh, the IT service just can give an quick support by um, like a, they will they will they can easily understand what is issue and fix uh, it as soon as possible. Uh, now I'll just uh, go through a small uh, overview. Uh, this uh, option is already um, it's a guided tool which is provided by uh, Microsoft Dynamics uh, portal itself. So um, in Dynamics 65, mainly uh, it provides uh, channel deployment and we can manage the catalog, uh, all the retail sites, we can create the retail and all the retail uh, sites will be managed from d 3 Commerce. commerce uh, Here, um, so this is the e-commerce, uh, how we can uh, arrange it, all the options are available here. Uh, this is the custom builder and custom builder, we can do all type of um, native uh, building of uh, website pages and uh, uh, how the pattern is we, we can track it and uh, this will streamline the buyer's journey and uh, um, it will improve the um, conversion rate as well. 
So uh, here are all the reviews we can see, and uh, here the op optimize the customer gave it by searching the options, and we can provide the reviews as well. And uh, once it is done, the customer service also will be uh, can be contacted uh, with the, how the experience has been happened, and then uh, we can give the uh, mobile experience as well. When it comes to the operations part, uh, which is uh, the channel deployment, uh, which is now uh, very, uh, very very useful, and uh, how it can be done by a store app and hybrid options as well. Um, when here we can get an overview on uh, what is the status, uh, what is the payment status, whether it's a payment is written, so we can check it, and uh, there are a few options uh, to check it in uh, from the back office. Uh, here, um, since um, Microsoft Dynamics uh, Commerce can be uh, connected with uh, um, Microsoft Dynamics Teams as well, uh, sorry, Microsoft uh, Teams channel. So here we can uh, make the task management and this will uh, move to the um, Teams, for example, uh, when we do an um, like gift option, we can provide uh, two instructions to uh, customers uh, uh, gift wrapping or uh, perform inventory count. So all these uh, options can be taken and uh, um, like a training, a training options or merchandising, and this can be managed here. Uh, so here, uh, this uh, will provide the in-store in -store team uh, to get uh, a timeline and uh, the, the likes and dislikes of uh, the employer uh, for the customer and we can pro give uh, see the recent purchases and based on his states uh, we can see all the options and we can recommend the right product uh, uh, to the uh, right customer so uh, this is the modern point of sale how it look like we can we have all the options for the inventory shift drawing option and declaring the starting amount and hybrid options as well so here, uh, this is the one. Uh, it's, since it is integrated to the teams, uh, so it's a collaborative work between the workers and the, the team. And uh, here we can see which one is done, and we can give priority, and uh, uh, we can track as well which which things are done. So this will improve the productivity uh, in the store and the headquarters as well. Uh, yeah. So here we can give uh, uh, the priority and the due dates and they can track and uh, improve uh, the sessions for the holiday as well. Uh, here, uh, this all the uh, options can be um, used in uh, desktops, tablets and mobile. Uh, so uh, the mobile options and uh, the tablet options is providing the uh, team uh, to provide and ship uh, the omnichannel experience and uh, omnichannel options to ship and uh, uh, make the orders um, and pack and make inform the past information to the customer when to come and pick and all the information if it is ordered by like a, like a special edition or whatever the requirements of can be achieved so um, yeah so when it comes to analytics uh, i have shown you the uh, commerce analytics which is very useful and uh, this is from the commerce app itself uh, we have the dashboards and we can get the insights of uh, the all the sales and uh, fulfillment options as well so uh, here uh, we can see and uh, we can know the average purchase reward points and we can um, make some uh, personalized campaign or personalized promotion also we can provide to each individual customers and uh, with the help of ai driven recommendations uh, based on our previous uh, purchases and the likes and dislikes uh, system will uh, give and recommendation uh, which one to pick so here um, we can improve the inventory transparency and uh, provide uh, like a correct information categories as well uh, pricing um, and here we can see uh, the uh, fulfillment options uh, with the how it is uh, how the how uh, how the web performance is doing and uh, the CRM team can improve uh, the campaign packaging as well. Um, yeah, so this is uh, mainly into the fraud protection, which is a new one. Uh, so like a, a, a new option, which uh, which is having a separate uh, module. Uh, here, uh, the system will uh, provide uh, deep analysis on the fraud protection and uh, avoid uh, the bank acceptance rates and improve the online shopping experience to the customers. 
Um, this is channel deployment, so the backend in IT infrastructure team can uh, do the deployments based on the uh, registers, devices, and call centers, and uh, make the deployments and uh, get an overview on all the options from the headquarters of uh, commerce itself. And yeah. so here, uh, when it comes to the modern point of sale, we we have all the options in the same page, so we can choose the products and get the information from here and um, all the options to orders to pick up fulfillment and uh, all the options are here so this is for the customer pickup hybrid options we can buy the uh, show, uh, items from here and ship it to another customer or another uh, pick it from another place this is for the task and um, we can see our clients and uh, we can prefer and uh, which is the preferred category we can provide an overall experience So, yeah. Thank you. So, and move to the. Hello, Ramesh. Yeah, yeah. Great stuff. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So you've you've actually done a whirlwind tour of uh, of the commerce architecture and application framework. Uh, that's exactly what 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 the audience wanted. So. First of all, huge thank you um, for covering that uh, within obviously within the hour. Um, so Ramesh, can you see the questions in the chat? There's um, yeah, several yeah. questions. The first question is by John, who's asking the question uh, that the D365 e-commerce can integrate with other website channels, for example, Amazon, Store Alibaba. Um, is there any plugin connectors for D365 commerce so it can call omnichannel? Yeah. So um, uh, this option, uh, they have been uh, um, like there. There is a third-party in, 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 uh, connector is available uh, in the app source. Uh, we can use that one, but it's with some customization and uh, requirement of the business. Um, we can. Uh, it's not fully integrated to Amazon and Alibaba, but it can be done by customization. Great. Um, and he carries on saying, I once linked um, Alibaba. Uh, platform with AX previous versions now has to drop that plugin connector because D365FO has changed the platform. My question is, um, is really in relation to Dynamics 365 integration with Amazon. So this is a lot of, uh, when it comes to the B2C, uh, most of the options are coming here because when it comes to B2C, it's not coming. So B2C is uh, very new and a uh, lot of features are still building. So I think uh, from B2C, uh, this option can be done, uh, but not into like a, a full-fledged options, but we need to see what is the exact requirement, how we can integrate uh, to it. Excellent. So I think I think uh, Ramesh has, has clarified the, the 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 platform capabilities there. Um, so we know that the B two B options are obviously very strong yeah. architecturally. B two C are still very much uh, getting enhanced with with new features appearing all the time. Um, so I hope that answers your question, uh, Jun. So uh, Prasan has asked the question: Is there a standard report for e commerce campaign and traffic? So uh, I have shown you, right? So for the um, commerce analytics, uh, we have a standard Power BI outbox, so we can directly integrate to it. And we have some standard reports, uh, not only not only in the report side, Power BI also is available uh, for all the options. Apart from that, we have uh, dashboards, uh, which uh, which is available in D365. Uh, dashboards is available. So most of the reports, uh, standard reports are available, uh, and we can also customize with the uh, SQL uh, reports as well. Yeah. Excellent. OK, so Prasan has asked, does multiple languages fully or multiple languages fully supported in e-commerce for both yeah. B2C and B2B? Yeah, so uh, this one uh, is daily changing. So most of the languages are supporting, but uh, we can go to the uh, documentation of Microsoft and we can see which other languages are uh, available now. Great, great. And, and finally, uh, which report covers uh, the campaign and traffic? So the commerce application, uh, which is, uh, I will share the link. Um, so you can see here all the options here. So this is basically known as commerce sales link. So uh, you can have uh, overview on from here. This is available to uh, domain. So you can just click the link and you can go through it. So here you can go to the web analysis, comparison analysis, and I have shared in the link so everyone can see it. 
So Rohit has asked the question, is commerce and retail module in D365 FNO? Uh, OK, um, so um, this one uh, is, as I said, it's a separate module. Um, So uh, we, when we buy uh, D365 operations, we can have finance and operations and supply chain management. Uh, same like uh, like HR and talent, uh, same like uh, this one, we need it's a separate module, H commerce application is available. So the question is uh, retail module. Yeah, when we, uh, it's, it has separate licenses as well. Excellent, excellent. Great questions. I really like the questions coming through today, guys. Really impressed, uh, considering that commerce is, is quite, you know, um, it's relatively a newer addition to the uh, Dynamics 365 uh, family. Um, it's great to see all, all, you know, the maturity over the past few years, uh, Ramesh. So um, we've got a few more minutes left, Ramesh. So if you could share your uh, connection details in the chat window. Um, wow. OK, so we've got another question by Johan, who's asking the question, any insights on offline performance compared with the previous versions? Yeah, um, so um, before uh, we have some performance issues in the like when it comes to the modern point of sale. So uh, the latest application, uh, it, it will be the game changer maybe. Um, just a second, let me go to the slide. So yeah, this one, the store commerce application. So this one will improve all uh, all the interactions uh, to the uh, HQ and you, this is supporting both offline and um, um, online. Yeah. OK, fantastic. Um, any other questions? Right, so um, I think that's the last question. Oh, we've got another question here. Um, oh, no, I think Prasanna is saying MPOS will be deprecated in future and support will be stopped and store commerce app will take over. Any thoughts on that, yeah. Ramesh? It, it's correct, but uh, it, it will take time. It's a new application just launched, so it might take some time. Great stuff. OK, here we go. Mustafa's asking, does the store commerce app support uh, on Prime? Um, I'm not sure what that means uh, support on Prime. Yeah. I also didn't get what, what you mean by Prime. Uh, yeah. Sorry, maybe, uh, uh, Mustafa, could you re? Oh, on premise. Sorry. Does yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And uh, here uh, we I also share the links of uh, um, the e-commerce for uh, commerce application for B2B and B2C. So can have a look on it. And also I will share the links for uh, Clarity, uh, which is uh, uh, which is mainly into the uh, improvement of a website uh, analysis. Yeah. Um, yeah, so any more questions or? Uh... OK, thank you for sharing yeah. your uh, connection details there. Um, yeah. Ramesh, um, thank you so much. Uh, I, I know that the next speaker will be very happy with your presentation because um, the next speaker is actually none other than one of the um, senior engineers um, and product group leaders um, for commerce who work very hard uh, on the commerce product um, to get it where it is. So um, it's a great segue to the next session as well. So once again, Ramesh, keep up the great work that you're doing on commerce. Um, it's a hugely growing area. As we know, commerce is being disrupted as we speak. Um, and so thank you once again. Sure. It's a pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, bye to all. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Ramesh. Thank you, Ramesh. Okay, fantastic. So there you go.